All right, let's talk about the Clippers. Excuse me, let me stop. Let's talk about my Clippers. We won last night, so I'm going to take it. We good. Um, Godly, we, 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 I went to the game the other night. Who we play? Uh, Indy. Halliburton. God dang. Halliburton shoot like, Halliburton shoot like this, y'all. And it'd be wet. I mean, that ball and that net got a relationship. Kevin Durant is like that. Steph Curry, obviously. It's some dudes that make it, but the way they make it, you like, what? Wet. <laughs> he was killing us. But, um. My Clippers got a little identity issue right now. Let's be, be real about it. They got a little problem. Um, and the problem, as according to the head coach, Ty Lu, is we don't have an identity. According to him, it's something worse than that. Let's listen to Ty Lu talk about it. Let's break it down. James Harden mentioned that you guys didn't have an identity. You guys have had <laughs> one. Where is it? Well, can we start with this? Identity yes. uh, is... We can shut the door first. Dante, can you shut that door, please, sir? Damn, what you about to say? You gotta close the door. God dang. What you about to do? So Tyler identity you know, for us has gotta be toughness, which means physicality, mentally and physical, toughness. Um a high powered okay. offense. We can score a lot of different ways. Hell and yeah. we gotta <clears throat> have a defensive mindset. And so okay. right now, do we have an identity? Um, I think, yeah, we're soft. That could be an identity, if you want to call it that. Like, we got to be tougher, like mentally and physically. Um, but we do have an identity. When we were 26 and 5, we had a great identity. You know, so you can't um, pick and choose when you want to lead. You can't pick and choose when you want to have identity. You can't pick and choose when you want to do things the right way. And so just do the right things every night, and everything else will fall in, fall in order. <clears throat> and so, yes, we do have an identity. We got to get back to that. You know, because we've had it, you know, but when you lose games, um, it's easy to go the other way. And we're not going to do that. And I'm not going to let our team do that. And, you know, I'm tough minded. And so I've I've been through everything. And so are these guys. And so the only way we're going to get out of it is playing hard for 48 minutes, doing things right every single night, every single possession, not two out of five, not two out of six, not every time. Just do the right thing. And you'll be able to get out of this rut, you know, and so. Um, yeah, we have an identity, but right now our identity has is, is been shaken because we're not winning. You know, we're not doing things the right way um, consistently. And so when you don't do that, you're going to lose. You know, you're going to lose games, games you should probably win or you think you <coughs> should win, and you're not going to play as good as you think you should play. And so um, I thought the first quarter, I thought we were great. I thought we really did some good things. Mmm. 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 How many times have y'all heard that? Not a coach calling out their team or even your coach calling their team soft. But how many times have you heard this in sports? Based on the results, we got a problem here. I'm here to talk about when the problem doesn't exist in the process, just in the results. You ever been there? You ever study for a test, well prepared, and get a C minus, D, F, and you're like, what? And the first thing you go to is, oh, man, we ain't even study for that. <laughs> yeah. I've never been in school. Oh, I get my test back. My boy get his test back. Man, we ain't even study for that. That wasn't on the damn workbook. I'm like, hey, bro, that is on the teacher to say what we're supposed to know on the test. It's on you to study all that stuff. You know, do we have a test on chapter one? And then she put on some stuff that's from chapter two or some stuff that if you really know chapter one, you should understand this a little more than what's on the narrow path, right? Oh, I used to crack up. What happens when you actually doing the right things? Then you just don't get the results. You ever notice that in life? You study. You're prepared. You're actually trying hard. You're doing everything. And it highlights the Wileyism, the path to success and failure look almost exactly the same. I've been on teams before where because we were winning, they thought we were doing all the right things. But that same team that we were doing those same things, all of a sudden turn the corner and start losing, they start saying, oh, you're soft. You don't have identity. You ain't trying as hard. 
The most beautiful thing about sports is that it's a meritocracy based on relativity. We're going to reward you by winning. We're going to reward you by points. We're going to reward your efforts. But this ain't no uniform reward. This ain't no level playing field. Because if today they are balling out of control and today you just balling, they going to win. And then the next game, they ain't playing well and you just balling, you win. What? We doing the same thing. One day we win, one day we don't. Uh, uh. So these Clippers, sometimes it gets lost in this. Who's to say they're doing worse? The results. But how do you know these other teams ain't just doing better? Or why we got to be soft just because of the result? How can we can't be something else? We're doing the same things. Guys are coming back in and out of injury. And it's so funny because you can't objectively measure effort. We all try. We all try to say, oh, they look like they try hard. I'm guilty of this. I see my son make an amazing play or amazing shot. And I all of a sudden start thinking that he's doing something better. No, that one just bounced in. That one just went in. And I told you last game I had a guy, uh, my little man Jaden, running up. He, he half court, he check. Wow. I'm screaming in the air. No, 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 no. Bum, bum. Bank it in. Oh, that's three points. Right? We don't get those three points if it's just based on what he's doing. Nah, it's based on the result, right? That was a horrible shot that he made. And there's also some great shots that you don't make. All I wanted to do, because I used to get frustrated with this, is coach, shut, not Ty Lue, not Ty Lue, not Ty Lue. I love Ty Lue, not Ty Lue. Not Ty Lue. Shut up, coach. Fuck you Why are you yelling? Dog, we doing the same thing. We playing at a winning level, an effort. Now we soft because we lost. I used to hate that. You ever have a game? I've, I've been here before. Here's another level to it. I go out there, get two sacks, ball, balling out of control, 10 tackles, two sacks. What, 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 what? All y'all, see you see in the morning. Y'all suck. I'm like, who suck? I'm Pro Bowl bound right now. <laughs> you ever been there? Like, the team did bad, but you did good? I love sports. It will show you so much of life in the way that it's going to be without having to live through it. Sports, every play, every day, every way will show you how life is. And there are times when, hey, Super Bowl champions, yeah! And it's a dude there in street clothes. (laughs) Didn't play one play. The fans played more to him. And he's going to have that big-ass ring lying to the world for the rest of his life. Not really lying though, right? He got the results. Even though the process, his ass didn't chip in on it. He had a red cup, he didn't chip in, as Snoop would say. So y'all beat it up in the comments, man. Y'all know where I'm coming from. Are the Clippers really soft? Nah. Sometimes these are the breaks, right? No team ever going 82-0. So what are we talking about here? 